Assalamu alaikum and a very good day. My name is Norida Binti Muhammad Lade. I'm 12 years old and in year 6 excellent. I am currently studying at SK Iskandasha. I am quite an active student in terms of curricular activities. I have been a school prefect since I was in standard 4 until now. I am also active in club Dr. Muda. Today, I will be reviewing a book. The title of this book is I Wonder Why Pyramids Were Built. I found this book at my school's library. This book is written by Philip Dale and it contains 32 pages. This wonderful book was published in 2011 by Maximilian Publishers International and the first ever edition was published in 1995. This book is very interesting because it is colorful, surprising and full of information. Not only that, it also sparks the curiosities of children and teenagers alike. The book serves as a perfect introduction to ancient Egypt featuring pharaohs, mummies, hieroglyphics and much more. The book tells us one of the seven wonders of the world, the pyramids and the mysteries and the stories surrounding the majestic buildings. It also tells us more about the Egyptian, its rulers, the games they play, their writings and culture. The pyramid was created in Egypt. Egypt is located in desert where literally nothing grows. The Egyptians usually built tombs for their dead kings on the river's western bank where the sun set. The Egyptians believed that the kings would meet a god they referred to as the sun god when they died. They built sharp tombs called pyramid where they buried their kings. The Egyptians were also very good at farming which in turn made them rich. Their priors learned about the stars and the people crafted made beautiful things out of gold and silver. Their king was called Pharaoh. Back then, Egyptian dried up the bodies of the dead people so it lasts for thousands of years before burying them. The bodies are called mummies. The Egyptian believed that the dead traveled to another world which is they need their bodies and they didn't want anybody to be missing, do they? The mummy was then placed in a series of coffins. The coffin were then put in a big stone case called sarcophagus. The Egyptian made bread and they sometimes dump into a huge bowl on the floor and needed to do with their own two feet. The Egyptians baked a lot of delicious cakes such as donut, pyramid cake, bun, and cakes that looked like a crocodile. Then, rich Egyptian women wore a lot of striking makeup such as eyeshadow and lipstick. They also played board games. This book is very rich in different information that serve as something akin to water for the parched tables in search of more wisdom and histories to uncover. Not only is it informative, the book also provides new insights on the history of the Egyptian and the land itself. In conclusion, I wonder why pyramids were built. It's an amazing book that all audience for young to old can enjoy, be it as a pastime or as a way to know more about the fascinating pyramids about Egypt. I hope you can get this book to discover more about Egypt and the 8,000 years old inhabitants. Until then, thank you for lending me your ears and for going to a trip to Egypt with me. Goodbye.